just didn't see how close he was to longest road and an easy victory for him. So play is now with Joe, who has four points. I'd say is trailing a lot. This is not a good game for Joe. So Joe getting wheat. This is good, though, because Joe can trade away wheat for what he needs. He is really far behind Orange. I don't think settlements are really going to help him. He really needs to maybe steal Longest Road and get it before Orange figures out that he could get it and get cities going because Orange is looking like victory is right around the corner. So Joe looking to trade away <laughs> stuff to Blue who has three. Meanwhile, Orange is offering a road for Oh, a road and a sheep for a rock. So that proves desperation. You can bet that orange is really close to victory. And blue is trading with orange. I don't know why blue is doing that. I think blue is still shocked over the fact that Joe stole his settlement position. And orange dumps to eight points. gains a grip of sheep which is four so if orange has a soldier in his hand this could be game with the soldier he'll have three soldiers or knights and will gain the two points needed for a victory so two brick goes to orange one wood to blue Joe meanwhile has always had a lot of wood in this game with his city in the south. Too bad he doesn't have the wood port. Meanwhile, blue is just making trades, going for the brick port. It's not gonna matter because orange has this game in hand. He's got a four point lead over Joe who has four points. And orange looking for wheat. What is he gonna do? He's passed. So this is the exact same hand that Joe had before, but he didn't trade in for a city. And here Joe is not electing to trade in for a city again. He is going to try to get dev cards to try and possibly stop Arm. So we are at the same hand that Joe had. If you excuse me, I'm uh, a little lost because I had to start the recording over again so we're back in the game and Joe can easily trade in for a city but he's thinking about what he has to do to stop Orange he may think to try and catch his largest army which is gonna be tough um, but I think here Joe is gonna pull the trigger and build a city probably on the 5912 up on top jump to five points but orange is so close to victory and I think it's a bit too late for anyone to catch him two wood goes to orange one wood to blue with these sixes it's now blues turn who has gained the wheat and has accessed the brick port and whoa look at that nines is an automatic city for Joe which is crazy that happens sometimes too bad Joel didn't set that up earlier and it looks like orange has longest road Joe has his city is gonna jump to six He's got one place to put it on the coast. So Joe has six. Blue is going to be trailing by two with four points. And Orange still on the doorstep of victory. As play goes to Blue who rolls an eight and Brick and Wood go out. Let's take a look at the different ways that Orange can win. He's still got one more settlement, so he can build it in the bottom left 
of the map at the 1092. If he wants, and he does, nine points for orange. Joe is saying, you got this. Orange laughs, not sure. Come on, guy, not sure. He gets rock, buys the development car, looking for the knight that's going to give him 11 points and a victory. Yep, it looks like Orange is saying that he has the knight in his hand. He's going to jump to an 11 point win. And this was a pretty exciting game in the beginning. If you remember, both Joe. Joe was actually going for two spots and his opponents were contesting both of them. He managed to steal the resource from Blue up top which totally ruined Blue's game and set him back a lot because Blue was without wheat for a long time and when you're in that position without wheat you have to go for the port and you have to trade the bank to try and get the resources you need so you can build on the port so you don't fall too behind so Blue was lost after Joe took his one chance for wheat and so it was between Joe and Orange but Orange somehow jumped ahead I don't even remember if how he did that because if you remember Joe played a really strange move by not taking the city so I was in total shock and wasn't even paying attention to, to how Orange jumped ahead and I think that's what happened to both Joe and the blue pair player they weren't really following orange and he somehow creeped ahead maybe blue was in shock of joe's play also of not trading in for the city but that's what happens in settlers of Catan. so thanks again for watching it was a really uh entertaining and fun game to watch um, next time look for joe to be on here on the show and to be giving his own take on the games that he plays as i'll continue to give uh, live play-by-play -play commentary and analysis of your favorite game, Settlers of Catan. So take care, and I hope to see you on PlayCatan.com and in Settlers of Catan.